Is the Bible True? The Bibliography Test. How can we possibly know that what we read in the Bible today is exactly what was originally written down? That's the question we've been looking at as we consider how we can know if the Bible is true. Historians have three tests that are valid for all literature. The first is the bibliography test. This test answers questions like how many manuscripts have survived? How reliable are the copies that we have for it? How consistent are they? What is the time interval between the original and the existing copies? In our video about manuscript evidence, we saw that as of 2020, there is a staggering 25,000 manuscripts that have been discovered in various ancient languages for the New Testament. Homer's Iliad comes in second to the New Testament in manuscript authority with 643 cataloged manuscripts. Bruce Metzger, American Bible scholar, translator, and textual critic, writes this, the quantity of New Testament material is almost embarrassing in comparison with other works of antiquity. And as for the time interval between the original and the oldest copy, we have only one generation, 30 to 35 years for the New Testament. This compares with 800 years being the closest time span to an original text of antiquity. The discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls, the greatest archaeological discovery of the 20th century, allowed scholars to compare modern Bible texts with texts that were more than a thousand years older than the very reliable Aleppo Codex that they had been using. 95% of the texts proved to be identical, word for word, with the 5% deviation being spelling variations. These Dead Sea Scrolls revealed that even with more than a thousand years of copying the Old Testament, it had produced only minor variations, none of which altered the meaning of the text in any way. When we analyze how the scribes meticulously copied the Hebrew text, the number of manuscripts in existence, and the relatively short time span between the original and the oldest copies, the Bible more than meets the bibliographical test. But the bibliographical test only determines that the text we now have is what was originally recorded. Now we need to ask why we can believe these texts, and for this, we'll look at the internal evidence test.